Jason, where would you say the frustration level is for y'all after this difficult session? Uh, I wouldn't say it's frustration. Uh, I think it's more just a little bit disappointed because uh, I feel like we deserve more. My team, we do deserve more. So I'll say it's a little bit of disappointment, but at this point, you just continue doing what you're doing and results will fall. What do y'all need to do differently to get those results in the second half? Just put things together. You know, I think we've had some performances that have been great. Certain, certain games, maybe just the half. You know, things like that. So I think it's just time we start putting both performances together. Um, I think we're close. I think we're close. We confidence in this group and the staff. And they feel the same way about us. So we're close. Coach Nancy talked, especially early in the season, preseason, about it's going to be a process, right? And so sometimes that means that the results don't reflect how you feel about the performance or, or how you guys are doing things. Is there a point though in a season, and, and I don't think we're there yet, but where results and process have to kind of come together and, and it has to start leading to the results? Yeah, perfectly said. You know, there comes a point where you just have to, the performance and the result. You know, sometimes even if you get the result and the performance isn't there, you're okay with it because, you know, we want to get results. But I think like you said, a certain point comes, you know, I don't think we're there yet, but a certain point will come where we have to start getting the, along with the results, the performance to go with that, so it's a complete package. When you guys are looking back at some of these games, are you seeing the positive things that let you know, okay, the, the results will come if we keep doing X, Y, and Z? Yeah, definitely. You know, when you watch the games back, you see all the positive things that are happening, you know, but it's a game of moments. You know, we've had games dominated, but just a moment or two, we just weren't at our best for whatever reason, and we've been punished for it. So, uh, like I said, it's tough to keep saying that and repeating ourselves, but you know, it will happen. And obviously a new coaching staff, some new guys, younger guys that are, are stepping into bigger roles. Does that just add kind of to, to what we're saying here that it does take maybe a little bit longer than if this is a veteran group coming back with a similar staff and, and everything? It's just kind of, there's gotta be some patience, I guess. Yeah, you know, but considering everything, I think I think we're doing well. I think the staff came in and they've been, you know, again, they've done a good job incorporating the idea and how they want us to play. And the young guys have done a great job, in my opinion, helping us play. Uh, some of them playing a lot of minutes every single game, which is a tough ask to, for anyone. So. Proud of them, proud of this group, and continue what we're doing. Darlington, I noticed that there were different passing patterns switching from side to side on Saturday night. Um, it looked like the integration of both you and Aiden quite a bit, and diagonal passes to get from one side of the field to the other. Is that a function of the opponent? Is that a function of new training um, and new conditioning in switching the ball? Or is it a combination of other things? Uh, a combination of both, I would say. You know, the opponent and then the things that we've worked. I wouldn't say new training. We've worked on that in the past, but I just think a combination of what the opponent is trying to do and what we see during the game. So, uh, and I still think we do a better job at it. We do a better job of attacking and getting the ball and being more dangerous at times. But like I said, we'll continue to grow, continue to get better at it. Yeah. Uh, last handful of MLS games, there has been marked improvement in some of the coaching points that. Coach Nancy has mentioned in this room, um, getting the lead, protecting the lead, continuing to attack with the lead. Um, we've seen that actually. Um, so to go back to Bailey's question about frustration, does that sort of temper the frustration knowing that you can actually see in those moments that, and in those games that there is marked improvement in the way the team conducts themselves? Yeah, I would say so. I think if we're going out there, we're just getting beat. You know, and we're not having success in certain areas of the game and you know there's no hope I think then you're really frustrated you know I would say right now it's just a little bit of disappointment that we can't capitalize on, on the leads that we've gotten you know and the performances that we put in so I would say uh, no frustration is a little bit of disappointment but I think we're up to the next challenge cool all right everybody appreciate it